friends so today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a bulldozer okay so first let's see the supplies that we need we need a paper we need watercolor we need crayons we need uh, something to draw a circle with something small because uh, this is what we are going to trace to make the wheels okay then we need water because we are using watercolor we also need either a paper towel or some not this much maybe this size uh, piece of aluminium foil either this or this or if you have a sponge you can use that instead of like regular sponge you can use that i'm going to use this because i have this and i don't want to get my fingers dirty okay so these are the supplies uh, either of these either this this or this doesn't matter what you have and uh, we also need a whiteboard to practice draw a bulldozer uh, okay and that's all oh and then we need some glue so i have this type of glue you can use whatever type of glue you have at home uh if you have the other the stick type of glue that also works and that's what we are going to use okay so have you guys seen a bulldozer how many of you have seen a bulldozer i know most of you would have seen a bulldozer um like in person or you have would have seen one in a book right or you i'll put a picture of a bulldozer here right now in case you haven't seen a bulldozer so now you don't you when if somebody asks you if you have been uh, if you have seen a bulldozer you can say yes you have <laughs> right so uh, see a uh, bulldozer have wheels or what is it called the crawlers or something right uh why the wheels are this way is because um bulldozer work in a muddy area our bumpy area so uh, this type of wheel is better to uh it will be able to move better in muddy or bumpy areas okay and then this it has a blade or a scoop right to uh lift things right and then there is the uh engine part of the bulldozer and then there is the cab part right so these are the things that we are need to know now let's see how we um do this okay so first what we are going to do is we have this big paper we are going to fold the paper in half and then cut this in half okay i don't have my scissors Oh, you guys need scissors also for this project. I know all of you have scissors at home. Let me go grab my scissors. So I have my scissors. Now, the scissors are here. So what we need to do is I have folded the paper in half like a book. And then I'm going to open this right now. And then along the fold, I'm going to cut this. one i'm going to leave it just like that that is going to be the background paper this paper i'm going to fold again like that like a book and then i'm going to open it and i'm going to cut it on this paper we are going to make the bulldozer the other half you can uh, save it for next time okay so put it back this in back in the envelope so first let's see how we make the uh, background because uh, background we are going to make it with the watercolor and watercolor takes some time to dry right so i'm going to put my whiteboard away and let's first take the watercolor my crayons First, let's color with the crayons, okay? I'm going to take brown and black. Because this, these are the two colors we are going to 
use for making the mud. So I'm going to put it, uh, hold it this way, not this way. This is how we hold your crayon when you are coloring a bigger area. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to color like that. Some areas, see, I left it like that. Now I'm going to take my black. Okay, I'm going to take um, now my sponge. We, I'll show you with all the three supplies, okay? So this one, I'm going to crumble this into like this. Can you see? Yeah, and this part I'm going to hold. This is the part that I'll use for holding. This part is for making the prints on this, okay? Same thing with the aluminum foil. We don't need that much. I'm going to take a smaller piece. So like that, I'm going to crumble it. And then on one part, I'm going to make it pointy to hold. So then I can just do that, okay? This one, the sponge, I don't have to do anything with that if I'm using the sponge. Now, where is the watercolor? I'm going to take the watercolor. I'm going to find my black and brown. So this is brown, this is black. I'm going to take some water because the colors are sleepy. We need to wake them. So I'm going to put a few drops of water. You may need help um, from someone to put these, oh, what, put water in this thing because it's going to take a lot of time. See, I'm putting maybe four drops. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to first swirl my brush in brown. See how I'm holding my brush. I'm holding my brush just like I hold my pencil just above the metal part. Okay. And I'm going to swirl lightly, not super fast because I don't want the colors to get into other colors. So I want the brown to stay where it is. So now I'm going to just dip it in water. I'm washing my brush, sweeping the floor of the container, going left to right, left to right. And now my brush is clean. I'm going to swirl in black. Okay, a few times. Maybe I can wipe my brush on this one first. I'm going to wash my brush, just like I washed when it's like sweeping the floor of the container with water a few times and then I wipe off the excess water on the rim. Okay, I'm going to put my brush back. I'm not using the brush anymore. Now, if we are using the paper towel, what you need to do is I'm going to first dip it in brown and I'm going to see what I'm doing. Just Dip in brown. Okay, now I'm going to dip it in black. Now, let me try this with this one, okay? So, because with the brush, you won't be able to color a bigger area. Let me add some water to the black because I used up all the, yeah. With aluminum foil, the, the color, whatever color gets on here, gets to the paper. This one, it gets absorbed a bit. I'm just making a construction site. Okay, if you're using the brush, I'm just dipping in water, not the brush with the, if you're using a sponge, dip it in water first and then dip it in the paint and then you can do this. I'm going to, on the bottom, I'm just going to do that. The rest is fine. 
a little bit more water if your brush is dry and um because we have used crayons before uh, it's not going to take uh, the watercolor completely because the crayons and water doesn't mix well so this is what we need to do just make a messy paper like that because it's a construction site that you're making see the paint should look like this once you're done are we going to close the watercolor right now no what we are going to do is we are going to leave this for drying before we close it okay so we are done with this we're going to put that aside we will put this aside to dry okay while that is drying let's learn how to draw a bulldozer okay so crayons need to put it back so <clears throat> you can um draw the bulldozer uh, on the whiteboard first and then or, or on a scrap paper first and then when you're drawing on the uh, small paper uh, you can draw with a black marker or you can use your black crayon okay so first i'm going to take this whatever the smaller than this also would be fine let me see one two three four i think we need something smaller than this or we will just draw the circle by ourselves like um, i can't find a smaller thing to draw a circle with so what we're going to do is on the oh the paper should be kept sideways okay and we are going to make a circle next to it i'm making another circle next to that i'm making another one how many circles are we making four and then once you have that i'm going to make a c and a c backwards c I'm going to connect these two okay so once we have that then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a uh, line like this what does it remind you of like a F right or a J but like this right so maybe a small f but we are not writing uh putting the this line okay so after we are done that, i'm extending this line a little bit more i'm going to make a l <laughs> got that i'm going to extend the l a little bit more it should be almost till here and then i'm going to bring it down okay then the next thing we need to do is we are going to make the a c and then i'm going to make a small c and then i'm going to connect this both c's together like with a v this you can just connect it like that okay then i'm going to connect this to this now what else is remaining we need to add some details like we need to add a window maybe just add a window here okay i'm going to add the exhaust pipe through which the smoke comes out it is like that two lines and connect it and then we are going to add the uh vents okay through which the uh when the engine heats up it needs to stay cool right so the vents are there to keep it cool so i'm drawing the vent lines and then we'll add the hub caps so that's how we draw a bulldozer okay so now let's see how we draw this on the paper 
Guys, if you want to practice drawing, uh, draw this bulldozer one more time along with me, you know what to do. You just um, rewind the video, draw the bulldozer along with me. Okay, so the bulldozer have like these wheels like this. The You need to put a window, exhaust pipe, and then we have the uh, vent lines, and then we have the uh, blade or the thing that's used for scooping. The scooper, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm coming up with new terms for the new words for the bulldozer parts. So now I'm going to put this away. I'm going to take the small paper. I'm going to put it down and let's see if, oh yeah, let's try making the circle. Okay, I have a trick to make the circle. You have this um, marker caps, right? Markers, not the mask. You're going to open the marker. Do this. On the, this part, you're going to put some black like that. We are going to make a stamp and make circles. Watch. On the bottom, it's almost on the bottom of the paper. I'm placing the paper like this. Not like this because our bulldozer has a, like we need a lot a lot of paper to draw the full bulldozer so i'm putting it on the side i'm going to leave like a two finger space or one finger space on the side and then i'm going to put this down can you see how we made the circle now i'm going to do this again tray uh, like put some paint or put some color on top of this it's not paint, right? Next to it, I'm going to put the next circle. Got that. Now, and we are leaving some space on the bottom. Okay, remember there is another line going around that, right? Like that. Then one more. Hmm. Okay, we got the bulldozer, the wheels, okay? Now, from this point onwards, you can either use a pencil to draw the bulldozer, you can use the same black marker to draw. I'm using my favorite Sharpie to draw, okay? If you're using a pencil to draw, when you're done uh, drawing the bulldozer, you're going to take the black marker and go over all the lines or you can take your black crayon and go over all the lines it's up to you okay but you are going to go over all the lines the pencil lines if you're using pencil with black marker or the black crayon so now around the wheels i'm going to make a c not around the wheel uh on the left side i made a c this is a backward c and I'm going to now connect it and connect this. I'm going to go over the wheel to make it look nice and bright. Okay, so next, what are we going to do? We are going to make the F, the, I uh, hope you guys have learned how to write small letter F by now or in case you find it difficult to make the F, you'll make a line and then put a C. Let's see how we can do that. I'm not sure whether you finished learning how to write F. So if you don't know how to make F, write a line like that. And then you are just curvy line. Turn it into like a C. Can you see? This part of the C is not there. Okay? You can do it that way. So this is a whole C. Right? But you are only doing this much. So. Okay? First part of the C, not this part. Now, 
I'm going to make a L. I'm going to extend it till I reach here. I'm going to now bring it down. Okay. Now I'm going to make the C, the, what is it called? The blade, the scooper, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to make a C. Okay, now I'm going to make another C. Okay, now I'm going to connect this to this. Okay, now what is left? We need to make the window. It's like a square. Or you can even draw a rectangle. Okay, and then I'm going to make the exhaust a uh, pipe through which the smoke comes out okay so two lines and connect it and then let's make the engine vent lines that keeps the engine from getting warm it will stop the engine from getting warm so okay now i'm going to add the hub caps Okay, so we are done drawing the bulldozer. Okay, so what you need to do now is if you were drawing with a pencil, go over with the black marker or the black crayon. Okay, and then come back after doing that and we are going to color it. So um, we will color this with, um, it's up to you anyway, we took the markers out. You can either use the markers to completely color this or you can use crayon so what color is the bulldozers usually what color do you see for the bulldozer you see yellow color right so we are going to use yellow and the rest of the parts we are going to use uh, black maybe we, we can add one more exhaust pipe or something i don't know a smaller okay so I'm going to take uh, my black so if you're using markers you're going to use gray and yellow if you're using crayon you're using black and yellow okay maybe I'll use crayon or markers along with you guys because markers will make it look nice and bright, right? So I also feel like using this. So I'm going to first go along the lines and then color inside. I'm not touching the lines because sometimes when you touch the line, it can spread. If you use crayons to uh, make the lines, that may not happen, but if you use markers and it is still drying, the things can spread. I uh, have used permanent marker, right? So it is safe for me to go over. Uh, even if I touch another line, it is fine. Now I'm going to color the, the blade or the shower part. Now this part, you need to be really careful. When you are coloring the smaller areas, you will use the tip of your marker when it is a bigger area of coloring you'll put it to the side the crayon the uh, not the crayon the marker on the side and like color it like that if it is a small area use the tip and color okay Now I'm going to put this away. We are going to color the rest with gray. The wheels. The window also I'm going to put gray. And the exhaust pipes also gray. 
So now we are done coloring this. Now what we need to do is we need to cut this bulldozer out and then glue it onto the background paper that we made. Okay. So that is going to be a little bit tricky. I hope by now you know how to cut. So you need to cut next to the line. But see how I'm cutting? Next to the line. So take your time. So when you're cutting something, uh, something that is straight, you can cut fast. See? Oh, do you guys know how to hold the scissors? So scissors, this part, there is a small hole and there is a bigger hole. Inside the small hole, you put your thumb and the other four fingers go inside the bigger hole. And when you are cutting, you will pretend that this is a car that you're driving and you will stay on the road. So the road are the lines, okay? So when you are driving, do you drive super fast? When you are near, are near a curve, when, you, when, when the road is curvy, do you drive super fast? No, if you have noticed, uh, your mom or dad driving when you're driving um, on a curvy road we drive very slow okay and it's the same thing you guys would have done this because most of you I don't know whether you guys all know how to ride a bike um, if you know how to ride a bike if you're when you ride a bike when you are riding a bike in a on a straight road you can ride super fast when you reach a curve or something you slow down right just like that something straight you can cut a little bit faster but when you are on a curvy path you are going to cut take your time and cut slowly and see now it's curvy and i'm trying to stay next to the line line is the road i don't want to drive on the um like don't just drive on the road don't go hit a tree or something okay so i'm going to drive slowly and carefully because it's curved i'm going to take my scissors and be very careful when i'm cutting a curvy area so this hand what it does is the scissors that you have, the scissors in the right hand, right? If you're right-hander, only thing that you need to do is open and shut the scissors. This is the one, this hand is the thing that moves, okay? So you can move your uh, paper with this hand. So, so I've sometimes seen people cut something. Like both hands will be moving. That is not the right way to cut something. So only one hand needs to be moving. The other hand just needs to open and shut, uh, close the scissors. So now there is a lot of paper here. So I'm going to free my paper. So I'm just going to cut this off, excess off. This paper, I don't need that. Now I'm going to be careful and I'm going to cut on the line or next to the line and i'm just moving my paper with my left hand okay i need to be especially careful here i don't want to cut off the exos pipe i'm going to be careful i'm going to be careful i'm going to be careful 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 take your time to cut i'm not in a hurry Now I'm going to cut super slow. We're almost there. Not to worry with like that. Now, see? Da, da, da. Careful. Careful. We are done. So we cut this whole thing out like in one piece that is not multiple pieces right now let's take the background paper 
here is a background paper. I'm going to glue this down, maybe here. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue. So when you are using glue, whether it is glue stick or this type of glue, always see that you uh, close it after you are done using. The reason is if you don't close it, it's going to dry. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I don't know. Yeah, I think I have the other glue stick here. I was, oh, that's not the glue stick. I don't know where I keep kept my glue sticks. Did somebody take my glue stick away from here? Okay, let me put a few dots. Okay. So suppose you didn't get I should have shown you guys. Suppose you cut your this part off. Oopsie. Now what I'm going to do, I'll show you what to do in case that happened. I'm going to put this down first. I'm going to match where it was supposed to go. Put that here. And then I'm going to put it down there. See? As good as new. So don't have to worry in case you cut off any part accidentally, you can put that there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oh, more dirt inside this, inside the blade or the scoopy thing. I'm going to take brush, put a drop in, drop, two or three drops in brown again. I'm going to swirl and I'm going to fill this with some dirt. Maybe I'll take a swipe bit from black. So it looks like it is carrying the dirt, right? If you want to make your picture uh, look like the bulldozer is super dirty, after you dip in brown, dip slightly in water, the water and then you're going to put your finger out like this, two fingers out. With the, this thing, I'm going to tap it on my, tap the brush on my fingers. See what happened. I splattered some paint, uh, brown and black paint on my bulldozer. Now bulldozer looks like it is super dirty because it, we the bulldozer is in a very uh, dirty, messy area. The construction site is really dirty. So that's why the bulldozer is dirty. Maybe the bulldozer, we had to take it to the car wash area. Will this bulldozer fit inside the car wash? I don't think so. Maybe some other place is there for the bulldozer to get cleaned. Okay, so I'm going to wash my brush. Again, sweep the bottom of the container. I don't know whether you can see the ball that you, you'll be able to feel when you press down, right? Uh, the brush, wash it, wipe it. And then you are going to put it for drying. Wait for it to dry before you close it. And then as always, you're going to write your name. and your grade and your room number and you are going to email me the beautiful bulldozer that you made and I would like to see it okay so email me your uh, bulldozer along with your name your room number and school name uh, in the email id I'm going to put at the end of the video okay so till we meet next time bye bye